or the polemic uh, behavior, we'll put it like that, because especially Pentecostals are so exuberant when we hear something we like, we like to shout amen. But it is uh, only fair that uh, the audience is asked to listen intently with open hearts and give respect to both speakers and no demonstration or outburst or laughter or applause from the audience. We've been asked to ask you to keep the discussion orderly tonight. There will be three alternating 20-minute speeches by each speaker. Tonight's proposition is most interesting, quote, the scriptures teach that the Holy Ghost baptism is still for us today with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues. Now, affirming this proposition is Eddie K. Garrett of the United Pentecostal Church in Sarasota, Florida. Gerald Hasselbrock is his pastor. And denying this proposition tonight is Mr. George H. Huff of the Church of Christ in Sun Village, California. And at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the speaker for the affirmative proposition and the Pentecostal position, I introduce to you Reverend Eddie K. Garrett for his first affirmative speech. Brother Garrett. Pastor Huff, fellow moderators, brothers and sisters in Christ, and ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege and honor to stand before you today to proclaim what I feel and believe is the truth of the Holy Sacred Scriptures. From much study and diligent prayer and meditation, I have studied my way into what the proposition you have tonight. I would like for you to look at the scriptures that I propose to you and look at them in the light in which I see them. He read the proposition, the scriptures teach that the baptism of the Holy Ghost is for us today with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues. This is what I will affirm. First of all, I want to open this up by just asking Brother Huff one question, and it's an easy question, and that is, would my opponent show us, me and my brother, anywhere from Genesis to Revelation? Brother Paul, you got the camera on? From Genesis to Revelation, I mean from Genesis to Malachi, where the prophecy concerning the Holy Ghost baptism is expressly given. Something so important as Acts 2, uh, 1 through 4, and Acts 10 with Cornelius ought to be said somewhere in the Old Testament. Ought to be foretold somewhere 